Good day, learners. Welcome to Home Management Class. My name is Saratu Ishaya, and I'm going to take you today on the practical aspect of your home management examination. Now, the topic is test interpretation. And just like the topic goes, when the question comes, you are supposed to interpret the question correctly, then you'll be able to carry out your practical successfully. The question, your friend is coming over to spend the weekend with you. Underline your friend. Your friend is an adolescent. A, clean a cement floor. It has been specified there because we have different types of floor. It has been specified a cement floor. Two, launder her colored dress. It has also been specified that the dress you are going to launder is a colored dress. C, clean her leather sandal. It has also been specified here that the sandal you are going to clean, not a high heel shoe, not a slippers, but a sandal, and it has to be a leather sandal. But here, no color was given. So any color will go. D, prepare a suitable lunch and drink. Now remember, she's your friend. She's coming over for lunch. I mean, you are going to prepare lunch for her. She's staying over. And they said you are going to prepare a suitable lunch and a drink. Now, let's take the next thing. This is part A. We have different rows and columns. Now, where the first part there says the dishes or the work chosen. The A part of the question says, Clean what? A cement floor. So here we have written it down. Cleaning a cement floor. Now what are the quantity of cleaning agents or laundry material that we are going to use? At this point, anything you are going to write under this section, under this part, the first thing that comes to your mind is economy. As a homemaker, economy is very, very important. Now, we are going to use a short broom. We need it. We need our mop. We need our soapy water. We need buckets. We need water. And then we need our clean clothes. Those are the laundry materials and agents that we need for cleaning a cement floor. Now, this part shows this question. It says, reasons for choice of dishes or work. Why are you cleaning the floor? Now, I am cleaning it to remove dirt. You are also cleaning to make her feel comfortable because the place will be neat for her. Now, B, laundering a colored dress. Remember the question, B part is what? To launder a colored dress. What and what do we need to make this work easy for us. One, half tablet of washing soap. Remember I said, take note of what? Economy. I would have written a, a whole bar of soap. What would I do with that to wash just one dress? So half tablet of soap. I need water, bucket, bowl, pegs, cloth line, my iron, ironing board, and ironing clothes. Those are the materials that I need. Now, what are the reasons for doing this? One, to make her look neat and tidy. Two, to remove dirt. Now we'll go to the C part. It says, clean a leather sandal. Now here we write, cleaning a leather sandal. What are the materials that we need? We need a clean cloth. 
we need a shoe brush we need a shoe polish and then newspaper sheets now what do we need that newspaper sheets for we are going to spread it on our work surface so that whatever we do there we we'll finally pick those newspaper sheets and dispose them now why am i cleaning her shoe is to make it clean and comfortable to wear you all agree with me that a dirty shoe is not the best for us then two to make it beautiful now the d part they said prepare a suitable lunch don't write prepare a suitable lunch there tell us whatever you are going to prepare now for this purpose i have chosen fried beef served with jollof rice and lemonade now in preparing your dish always remember that your protein must always come first and my fried beef there i didn't write meat because we have different types of meat i specified that i was going to use what beef now what is the quantity of my ingredients the first thing rice i'll use two milk tin remember again i said economy i would have written because maybe my parents are very rich i'll write rice and then i'll write one bag but will one bag be used to cook for just my friend no now two milk tins beef four pieces vegetable oil one milk tin fresh tomatoes five large ones fresh pepper three large maggi eight cubes green beans five pieces onions one large sized salt it depends on my taste sweet orange for my lemonade i need sweet orange five pieces i need lemon two pieces and then lime one piece now why have i chosen this particular dish it is a balanced meal two it is suitable for lunch because remember lemonade is a refreshing drink now part b part b also stands as your market list this is where you only list out all the first column there you see ingredients you list it out everything you need to use the second part is your cleaning and laundry materials you list them out and then what you want to clean cement floor colored clothes and leather sandal this part does not carry any mark but you need it because that is what you are going to use to buy your items in the market notes before we get to the last part these are some of the things i want you to take note as you do your test interpretation one check the time the entire task will take you to accomplish why it gives you three hours the same thing as neko so assuming i'm going to write my time plan i'm going to use three hours i'll start from nine to twelve that is three hours for, for this particular work i'm going to write from 9 to 12. now there's what we call dovetailing dovetailing simply means your ability to carry out one, two or more tasks at the same time your ability to carry out two or more tasks at the same time now time accorded to each task how many minutes did you accord to the particular thing you want to do when we get to the time plan proper you see it how many minutes did you accord to each task then we have sequencing sequencing simply means what task is supposed to come first which is supposed to come second and gradually to the last task you are supposed to arrange it sequentially so that you'll be able to achieve the aim at the end of your practical. Then cleaning and clearing away. You need to clean at intervals as you carry out your practical. 
there's also mark that will be given for that. Then your final presentation. How do you present your work? If the question states that you should package it, it means you must come with a basket and pack it. If the, the question says set a table, it means you have to set a table. If the question says set a cover, it means you have to set a cover. So the presentation actually matters a lot. Now we go to the part C, which is time plan. Now, based on what I said, our practical will start by 9, and I'm expected to finish this practical by 12. So from 9 a.m. to 9.05, I am going to display all my items for the examiner to see. Now, those items I bought in the market and the way I have said I was going to buy them, the quantity and everything, the examiner is going to check to be sure that I actually did the exact thing I have written. Now, from 9.05 to 9.25, now take note of something. The end of one time is the beginning of the second task. Now, 9.05 to 9.25, I'm going to be preparing my fruits, making of my lemonade and refrigerating. Now, at this point, I have been able to achieve a particular task. Now, 9.25 to 9.30, cleaning and clearing away. I'm supposed to clean my surrounding, clean my work surface for the next task to continue. Now, 9.30 to 10 a.m., washing of my clothes. Remember, I have washing to do. I'm washing, and then I'm cooking the beef. Well, when you wash, you, I, I've soaked my clothes already. I'm washing it. After washing it, I'll also wash my beef, and then I'll prepare it at the same time. Now, remember what I said something about dovetailing. It means your ability to carry out two or more tasks at the same time. So at the same time, while I'm washing, I'm, I'm cooking my beef, I'm also, I've soaked my, my clothes, I'll wash and then I'll dry the clothes at the same time. Not that you put your beef on fire and then you sit down and be waiting for the beef to finish cooking before you now continue with the next task. Now, after that, by 10 to 10.05, I'm going to clean and clear away. 10.05 to 10.30, frying of beef and preparing ingredients for cooking jollof rice. You see, I am also doing what? Doing that work what, what, called what? Dovetailing. After that, cleaning and clearing away. 10.35 to 10.05, cooking of jollof rice and ironing of dress. Because my jollof rice is on fire, I will not fold my arms, just like I said. I will now do the next task, ironing. So I'm also doing two tasks at the same time. 11.05 to 11.10, cleaning and clearing away. 11.10 to 11.20 a.m., cleaning of what? Sandal. Then after that, 11.20 to 11.45, cleaning the cement floor. Now, if you notice, before I finish it here, you find out that it has gone in a particular sequence. The first thing I did was to refrigerate my drink because it's supposed to be taken as a cold drink. The second thing I did was to wash and also cook my beef. Fry, that I did. After that, I now did what? I prepared my jollof rice. After that, I now went on, I ironed my dress, I cleaned the sander, and then I have cleaned the cement floor. Now the last thing is by 11.45 to 12, I'll be displaying my finished work. Now take note of something. Whenever you are given a question, the first thing you need to do is to arrange your task. Just sit down and imagine which task should come first, which should come second, which should come third, and then the fourth one. Then you now think of what you are supposed to do first, second, third, and fourth. When you are able to arrange it, then you start according the time for each task. 
Now, by the time you are able to achieve that, and remember too at the back of your mind that you are supposed to clean and clear. When that is achieved, then you know that you have done something good. Now, my, my learners, after I've done this time plan, I want us to go back again. Let me tell you once again what you need to do from the beginning to the end as a summary. Now, the first thing after your question has been given to you, remember, I said test interpretation. It means you are supposed to interpret the question correctly. Please take note of that. Two, check whatever has been given. Here we have a friend. And that friend means she's a teenager. Or he is a teenager. Now, the second one, we said clean a cement floor. Remember, we have different types of floor. Here, you are asked to clean a cement floor. The third one, launder a colored dress. I said we have different kinds of clothes, but this one is specific, a colored dress. Now, clean a leather sandal. Make sure the sandal you are bringing is a leather sandal. Here, there's no specific color, so anyone can go. Now, prepare a suitable lunch and drink. Remember, you are preparing lunch, so you should know the right lunch to prepare for a teenager and the drink that will go at lunch time. And for this purpose, we took a refreshing drink. And I also told you in part A, you should always check the dishes or work chosen, which goes down from A, section A, B, C to D. Section A here represents your A in the question. Cleaning a cement floor. Section B is laundering a colored dress. And then the quantity of whatever you are using. Remember, please, economy is very, very important at this point. Then here you are supposed to specify the reasons why you have chosen that work or why you have chosen that dish. For here, this particular one, we said to remove dirt, to make her feel comfortable. That is why we are cleaning the floor. And then here we said to make her look neat and tidy and to remove dirt. That is why we are washing her clothes. At this point, too, please, let me pause and say something. The question might come like this. Launder and finish. Launder and finish or laundering, you must iron. Whether you are told to finish or not to finish, you have to iron it. Then section C, cleaning a leather sander. I told you, I said, since the leather sander, you now tell us what you're going to use. Your clean clothes, your shoe brush, shoe polish, and the rest. And then why you have chosen that particular task or thing to do. Now, the dish to prepare, I told you again, please don't write on section D. Prepare a suitable lunch and drink. Tell us what you are preparing. Write what you are preparing. Specify so that the teacher will be able to see it. And remember too, whenever you are writing your menu, start with your protein. Please. So here I've chosen fried beef served with jollof rice and lemonade. And remember I said lemonade is a refreshing drink. And I gave you the quantity of all that we need to prepare such meal. And then I told you again why we have chosen those, this dish. Because one, it's a balanced meal. Two, it is suitable for lunch. I said this part actually does not carry any mark. This is also called your market list. So you just write out your ingredients at the first column, write down your cleaning agents or material, and then you write the articles that you are cleaning. Take note, please. Waek and Neko is three hours. So write your practical out for three hours. Your time plan should be for three hours. The first thing, your dovetailing, your ability to carry out two or more tasks at the same time. Time according to each task. Make sure you check the time. Now you can decide to write um, cleaning and clearing away, then you write 30 minutes. What are you clearing on the table for 30 minutes? So you are supposed to check each time you are going to use for a particular task. Then sequencing. 
I said, make sure you arrange your task according to how you're going to carry them out from the first to the least. And then cleaning and clearing away, which is also very proper in content, you do it too. And then your presentation, your presentation also matters. Then finally, I brought out the time plan for a particular uh, question. And I said, please make sure you look at this again. And for those of you listening over the radio, for your benefit, I'm going to repeat it again. 9 to 905, displaying of items for the examiner to check. 905 to 925, preparing fruits, making of lemonade and refrigerating. 9.25 to 9.30, cleaning and clearing away. 9.30 to 10, washing and cooking beef. Then I'll, at the same time, I'm going to soak and then wash and dry my dress. 10 to 10.05, cleaning and clearing away. 10.05 to 10.30, frying of beef and preparing ingredients for cooking jollof rice. 10.30 to 10.35, cleaning and clearing away. 10.35 to 11.05, cooking of jello fries and ironing of dress. 11.05 to 11.10, cleaning and clearing away. 11.10 to 11.20, cleaning of sander. 11.20 to 11.45, cleaning, and cleaning the cement floor. Then 11.45 to 12, displaying of finished work. Now, I'm going to leave you with an assignment so that you also carry it out. Now, the question goes as this. You are visiting your uncle, who is a mason. Remember who a mason is? He's a manual worker. A, clean his rubber boots. B, launder and finish his dirty shirt. C, clean his room. D, Prepare and serve lunch with a refreshing drink. I'll take it again. You are visiting your uncle who is a mason. And remember, a mason is a manual worker. A, clean his rubber boots. B, launder and finish his dirty shirt. C, clean his room. D, prepare and serve lunch with a refreshing drink. Now, for any question, you can call me on this number, 080-6573-1058. I'll take it again. 080-6573-1058. Thank you very much.